Good evening, everyone. So once again, let's study the Word of God. Let's study James chapter 1. Let's start with verse 2. My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up power within you to endure all things. And then as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. The word of God is encouraging us today, all of us who are facing difficulties. With our situation right now, there are a lot of things to worry about. But the Bible is uh, encouraging us that if you're facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity. See it. Let us have a changed perspective towards the difficulties that we are facing today. Look at it as an opportunity invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy, the greatest joy that God alone could give us. When we're facing difficulties, is an opportunity to understand endurance. The Bible says that our faith is tested. When we go through difficulties, when it seemed like we pray and nothing happens, now our faith is tested in that season. When you don't see the answers of your prayers, the Bible is um, saying that, for you know that when your faith is tested, it steers up power within you to endure, the ability to endure, the, ab the ability to overcome what you're facing today. Now it's important really to have the the right attitude as we go through difficulties. What are the difficulties that you're facing today? Maybe financially you're, you're being challenged. Maybe uh, you have uh, difficulty with regards to relationship. Maybe you have difficulty with regards to uh, your promotion or difficulty with regards to uh, having a job or opening a business and, and achieving the desires of your heart. Nothing is easy. In this life, everything is difficult. As early as possible that you learn that life is difficult, so much that, that will be so much better. Now, the Bible says that when uh, your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. It is the will of God that that uh, you, our attitude, our mindset would be um, enduring. When we endure the hardship, then our endurance grows even stronger. The higher the dream, that's the higher the price to pay. When you dream big, you always have a price to pay. And because of that, you have to endure today. When you easily give up on something because you're discouraged or you think that you cannot do it anymore, you're just good at starting, I challenge you to uh, put yourself, put your faith in the Lord and uh, challenge yourself to endure. Nothing in life is easy, really nothing. And uh, when, when you wanted to accomplish something, then challenge yourself to continue on. Let us not be good starters, but let us be good finishers. And endurance is very important. Now, one of the things for us to be able to endure is understanding our part with regards to our partnership with God. In verse 5, it says, And if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and he will give it. For us to overcome the hardship and the difficulties is for us to make uh, good choices. And people who are able to make good choices in life are people who are wise. Now, if you wanted solution to your problems, ask the Lord for wisdom. And, it, and the Bible says, 
ask God for wisdom and he will give it. When you are in a very difficult situation, ask the Lord, Lord, give me wisdom. What shall I do? Whom shall I connect? Lord, open doors for me. The Bible says he won't see your lack of wisdom as an opportunity to scold you over your failures, but he will overwhelm your failures with his generous grace. When you are in the middle of difficulty and you are asking wisdom from God, God would not scold you because you asked for wisdom. God would not look at your failures as something that he will tell you you're a failure. See, you failed again. No. When you ask for wisdom, the Bible says um, he will not look at your failures, but he will overwhelm your failures with his generous grace. When you come to the Lord and you come to the end of yourself and your own efforts, you surrender to God and say, God, lead me to the right people. Give me a wisdom into what to decide. The, Lord, the Bible says, if you ask for wisdom, he will give it. Just make sure you ask empowered by confident faith without doubting that you will receive. And this is a secret every time we ask the Lord. Do not doubt. Do not look at your, uh, your limited self. Do not, do not look at yourself like, I cannot do this anymore. This is hard. When you have a dream and you are determined to achieve it, then uh, make sure, the Bible says in verse 6, just make sure you ask empowered. Your asking is empowered by confident faith without doubting that you will receive what you have asked for. For the um, ambivalent person believes one minute and doubts the next. When you're a doubtful person or uh, ambivalent person, you believe now and then doubt next. Being undecided makes you become like the rough seas driven and tossed by the wind. When you are undecided, when you change your mind immediately, when you shift your mind Immediately, and you cannot, you're undecided with things. You are like a rough sea, driven and tossed by the wind. You're up one minute and tossed down the next. And when, when you are half hearted and wavering, it leaves you unstable. Can you really expect to receive anything from the Lord when you're in that condition? The answer is no. The answer is no. When you're in a condition that is unstable and undecided and tossed by the wind, then you cannot receive anything from the Lord because your faith and wavering faith is one of the keys to your dreams. I hope you're learning something tonight. God bless you. Please like and share our page and also our YouTube channel, PCGO Iligan.